Jane Hamilton and today we're going to be looking at alignment and neutral spine. Alignment is one of the eight fundamental principles of Pilates and if you would like any more information go to the blog at janehamiltonpilates.co.uk. We want to find alignment, good alignment and neutral spine, whether we're standing, sitting or lying down. So first of all, I'm going to look at it standing. So what I'm going to do is check out my feet first and work up from there in good alignment. So with my legs hip distance apart, toes and heels in line, with a softness at my knees, and then I'm going to think about lengthening through the spine. So elongating the spine, thinking about a string crown of head that's drawing me up towards the ceiling and then the tail, my tailbone at the back is dropping down towards the floor. So we're really thinking about that length. We're going to open up at the collarbone and chest, very important. Watch that you don't drop back and open too much and pop up with the breastbone here. Try to keep that dropped as you open up at the chest. There's a softness at your elbow and you've got your middle fingers running down the seams of your shorts or your leggings. If you were to draw your head forward, then think about taking the crown of the head to the ceiling and you really will elongate your vertebrae in your neck, the seven vertebrae in your neck. Now I'm going to think about neutral spine standing. So I'm going to turn round. What I'm going to do next is place my hands on my hips and I'm going to rock forward with my hips. So imagine that my pelvis and hips here were, was a bucket of water and that bucket was filled to the brim with water. So if I tilt the bucket forward, the water is going to spill out the front. If I tilt the bucket back, the water is going to spill out the back. I want the water sitting level in the bucket and that's our neutral spine. So neutral pelvis area. So that's what we want. We want uh, the pelvis level. So if I have my fingertips at the side there, I'm also thinking about eye level. So we're looking straight ahead. We don't want to be looking to the ceiling, nor do we want to be looking to the floor. So we're looking ahead. I've also got even weight on the base of my foot. So I think big toe, little toe, heel. Imagine there's a triangle there and you're wanting even weight on that triangle. So this is me in neutral spine now. Good alignment and neutral spine standing. So next, I'm going to look at that lying on the floor. So again, base position, same principles apply. I'm going to pop a block under my head first. Now this could be magazines or brochures. I've got two here. What I want is my head, neck and back in alignment there. I don't want my head up here with too big a block under my head, nor do I not want anything there because then I'll just uh, tip my head back. If I don't have a block under my head, my chin will come up and I might look to the ceiling more. So I want my head, neck and back in alignment. If you do have a yoga block, use that, but if you don't, just two, two magazines will do under your head there. Now, base position, toes, heels in line, knees, hips in line, legs hip distance apart. Same principles apply as with standing. I'm going to find neutral spine now. So I'm going to put my hands on my hips and I'm going to imprint my lower back into the mat and then arch my lower black back slowly. Do it slowly. So I'm imprinting and arching, just lower back. Keep keeping your middle back to upper back on the mat. So we're just doing what we did when I stood and worked with the bucket of water, tipping forward and tipping back. So we want to find that middle point. So I'm going to put my hands now under my lower back and the back of the hands is on my back 
and my palms are on the mat. If I take them away, then I've got a natural lumbar curve there and the rest of the back's on the floor. So that's what we want, that little gap lower back. We find that midway point with the imprint and the arch. And finally, I'm going to create a triangle with my thumb and my forefinger and place that on my tummy. And my palms, I want my palms to be level there. I don't want to be dropping off to one side. So imagine that there's a dinner plate on your tummy. There's food on that dinner plate and we don't want that dinner plate to drop off to one side. Often we have a hip that's slightly higher and rotated forward or back, so we do can slip to the side. So through our Pilates moves and our good Pilates, we'll find that level alignment. So palms on our tummy create that triangle. So just to reiterate, good alignment, toes, heels in line, and knees and hips. We're looking down towards our knees. We've got our middle back to upper back on the floor and our head and neck in line with our back. And that's us in good alignment and neutral spine. So if you've got any questions about alignment or neutral spine, get in touch with me at hello at janehamiltonpilates.co.uk. And the next video is going to be on breathing, which is a natural progression on from alignment and neutral spine. And then we're going to talk about core stability and transverse abdominis and centering. So if you've enjoyed these videos, please check out the next one and look forward to seeing you then. Thanks and see you soon.